This is a great little vegetarian recipe and really, really good one to get the kids involved in the kitchen. Really simple, not too many ingredients, and it's a really good life skill, good technique to show them. So when they finally do leave the nest, they've got a couple in their armory that they can take care of themselves. All right, so the first thing we need to do is cook off the base of our veggie spring roll. So simple ingredients, garlic, ginger, chili. We're just gonna fry that off in a hot pan, a little bit of oil in there. Now, the reason why we're cooking off this base is A, we want to impart as much flavor into the rest of the ingredients as possible, and B, we've got the cabbage and carrot, we just want to wilt them down and soften them a little bit so they're easier to roll. We've got one clove of garlic in there that's just been really finely grated. Same with the ginger, about two tablespoons. And then we've got one long red chili that's been finely diced. And then we're gonna go in with some soy sauce and a bit of shaoxing, so uh, Chinese cooking wine. Now we can go in with the wombok. So like I said, we don't want to cook this too much. Just a little bit, just to soften it, just to wilt it, season it. And then we'll mix it with our noodles. All right, so that's pretty much done. I can take that off the heat. As you can see, we've just knocked a little bit of the volume out of it. It's lost its stiffness, so it's gonna be really easy to work with now. These are our vermicelli noodles that we just soaked in some hot water. Just follow the instructions on the packet. Very straightforward. All right, the final two seasonings for our veggie base, just a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. I can turn that off the heat now and I'm just gonna mix that through. Oh, five spice, bang. All right, make sure that's nice and evenly worked throughout the veg. In on top of the noodles and then about half a cup of finely chopped spring onion. Now we're just gonna work that through with our hands and just make sure that it's all evenly combined and then we can start the roll. All right, there we go. So these are just stock standard spring roll wrappers. You can find these at your supermarket, Asian grocer. Generally, they're gonna be in the frozen section. So we'll just line it up. And we'll just grab a portion of our veg mix, roll it over, and at this point, plant the palm there and just tighten it up. So just pull it back towards you and then roll a bit more. That's broken, doesn't matter. It's gonna get wrapped up. So like that, and then again, just tighten it up, pull it back towards you. And then at this point, tuck in the sides, roll it over. This here's just a mix of cornstarch and water. So that's, it's acting like our glue. It's just gonna make sure that the lip here adheres to the rest of the roll. Just on the tip. And then just apply pressure when you roll forward and just ensure that it's tucked in like that. Not bad, all right. About 400 more to go, bear with me. Hopefully the kids gave you a hand to build up a nice stack of spring rolls, but this is where you're gonna to need to step back in. We've got a pot here with some oil in it, and we've brought it up to 180 degrees, and that's gonna give us a nice temperature to get these really, really crispy. So we're not gonna overcrowd it in this pot, three, four at a time, max. And at 180, they will let you know when they're ready. So they should be beautiful, golden brown, crispy. And then as soon as they come out, we're gonna season them straight away with a little bit of salt and repeat. There we go, guys. It really is as easy as that. But before I go, seal of approval. It's got the sound. Bit of soy, 